Day number 17 of the challenge, the fitness challenge uh, for awareness of the PTSD, okay, post-traumatic stress disorder, and, you know, suicide awareness, depression awareness. So today's topic, today's promises, again, we are unpacking, okay, uncovering, unboxing, okay, the promises of God in the Bible, Okay, I think this is the only way you can get through this, you know, suffering, okay, pain and suffering from, you know, these types of disorders and then depression and sadness and hopelessness, etc. Our promise today is found in the book of Jeremiah. Okay, this is quoted by the prophet Jeremiah. By the way, before we talk about, you know, this verse, before we read this you new know, promise, loud we would first know about the life of the prophet jeremiah okay jeremiah okay is one of the prophets of god what are the roles of the prophet of that time okay number one is to warn the people of israel warn about what warn about you know the covenant they had in the time of moses okay in exodus Okay, to obey God's laws, the Ten Commandments, okay, to obey, you know, to worship no other gods and all these commandments, okay. That's number one, okay, that's the number one role of the prophets. Number two is to remind them of God's faithfulness and God's promises, okay. So you would see these prophets, you know, rebuking people and, and, and doing weird stuff. To, to, ano, to catch the attention of the people. Unfortunately, if we look at the, the life of the prophet Jeremiah on a human perspective, it's a failure. Okay? We would regard it as a failure. Okay? Because all of his warnings, all of his reminders, all of his challenge you know, to the Israelites, the Israelites didn't do. Okay? And here is God saying to Jeremiah that, you know, this big bad empire of Babylon or Assyria will conquer you. You know, this bad, big bad empire will destroy Jerusalem, will destroy Israel. Okay, and, and Jeremiah is called the weeping prophet because he doesn't want this to happen to the people. But people are just so stubborn. Okay, we people are just so sinful. So we are naturally geared towards disobeying God. So, What's the promised good news? The good news is, Thus says the Lord, okay, Who made the heavens and the earth, and formed it and established it, the Lord is His name. Okay, this is the promise. Call to me, and I will answer you, and I will tell you great and mighty things which you do not know. So what can we get from this promise? Again, from Jeremiah 33, verse 2 and verse 3, okay? You have to know that God is sovereign, okay? He made everything. He made the heavens, the earth, everything in it, okay? He established it, okay? Meaning, He put everything in, his, in its place, okay? Um, have you heard the concept of, of, you know, anthropic constants, okay? If the earth... Is just you know one kilometer away from the Sun the earth would life would not exist on the earth okay it would be so cold that life would not exist and if it's one kilometer you know near the earth would burn up everything would burn up here okay so meaning the earth is just the at the exact spot for life to exist okay so that's that's one of the proven okay scientific evidence that god really made this world okay one one other uh, by the way before i'm an atheist okay, i don't believe in god okay because i don't have enough evidence to i think i did have evidence to believe him but i started researching about the resurrection of jesus and if i prove it wrong then everything that the christians believe are false so I'm wrong. Okay, I, 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 Jesus did re, did really rise from the dead. So yeah, that's when I start, you know, researching about the science and the Bible. Okay, the point is, God made everything. God is in control. God is 
sovereign. He established everything. Okay? Even your problems now, He allowed it to happen. Okay? For what purpose? To call to Him. That's why He said, God said here, call to me and I will answer you. And I will tell you great and mighty things which you do not know. Okay? Sometimes we people get depressed because we try to solve our problems on our own. We try to solve our problems on our own power. And we, we do things, you know, we manipulate things. And in reality, okay, whether you like it or not, you cannot control everything. Okay? Circumstances, problems, is inevitable. It will come. Okay? And when it comes, it's not just one problem. Okay? When it comes, it comes in, you know, a lot. It comes with, 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 with more. It's like it ha- your problem has many friends. Okay? Going, going after you. Okay? If you lost your job, then you, now you, you had a disease and that, and then now you had, you know, a, a problem in a relationship. So, storms of life will come in, in groups okay so that's the problem if you don't have a concept of god if you have the wrong theology then it will you know it will make you depressed and you know it will make you want to end your life okay another set of promise last it's found in first corinthians 12 to 13 okay it says if you think you are standing strong be careful not to fall okay the temptations in your life, meaning all of, you know, the bad things happen in your life, are no different from what others are experiencing. Okay? God is faithful. He will not allow you, the temptation, to be more than you can stand. Okay? He will not give you a problem. He will not give you a temptation. He will not give you a, a happening in your life that you cannot bear, that you cannot, that you cannot stand. Okay? But when you are tempted, He will show you a way out so that you can endure. Okay? That's the promise. Okay? But what is the condition of God? You call to Him. If you're depressed, stressed, having, you know, traumas in the past, I understand it. But I think we, ha- we are having these problems because we don't call to God. Okay? So, right now, if you need someone to talk to, realize that you're not alone. Okay, don't be alone. Okay, you can message us. You can message me directly at Daniel Joseph Vasquez. We can help you. Okay, we can. I can help you to, you know, to somehow have someone to talk to. I can say that I can heal you. There's only one person who can heal you completely from that stress, traumatic stress, and, and depression. It's only God. Okay. I can only, you know, point you to Him. So, yeah, call to Him directly. Okay? So, that's it for day number 17. See you tomorrow. I'm super sore and I still did one-arm push-up. So, see you tomorrow.